hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to exploit the 10 lit port which is port number 23 on this metasploitable 2 series we have already uploaded the second video which was exploiting the ssh port if you haven't watched it go and watch it right now so the process for exploiting this 10 lit port will be almost similar to the ssh one we did you can see that i have opened both of my instances this is my kali linux the attackers machine and this is the uh, vulnerable Met metasploitable 2 so first thing we always do is perform a nmap scan so to perform a nmap scan type sudo nmap stealth scan uh, that stands for the option hyphen small s and then capital s and the ip of the targeted machine so now you can see that we have already exploited the FTP port 21 the 22 port is already exploited also which is SSH port now we are going to exploit the telnet port so now that we know the machine has open port 23 so that means we can exploit it so we'll open our MSF console so MSF uh, console that is metasploit let me know in the comments if you guys want a separate tutorial on how to use metasploit you know a beginner's guide how to use command how to uh, use auxiliaries and search for options and uh, payloads etc let's give it some time to get started i don't know if it's only in my system but metasploit always takes some time to start and i always love this cute animation they give not animation but it's just like an icon so moving ahead uh, we'll be searching for the auxiliary uh, we'll use search command obviously to search then we'll type auxiliary and we want to search the 10 lit one so let's just see what we get we have bunch of auxiliaries so we'll look for something called 10 lit login so i think this is the one 10 lit underscore login so just copy again if you want to take a screenshot just take a screenshot this auxiliary is to be used to exploit this uh, port 23 so what we'll do is we'll use the command use and then we'll paste the auxiliary name which we want to use and now you can see that the auxiliary is in red that means it is in use let's just clear the screen if you have watched the previous video where we exploited SSH so the process is kind of similar not kind of it is pretty much similar the only difference will be at the last when we will create a session and track with the uh, machine which we have already exploited uh, now just see what options do we need to provide in order to you know perform attack so anonymous login let's just say we don't want this right now because we are only in you know attacking on this on the same instance we know that we are attacking so this is uh this this doesn't make sense so next is brute force speed let's just leave it at five next thing we required is the r host of course and uh, then after r host the port which is set on 23 which is the right port we want to ex execute then we need to provide the option whether stop on success so we will set this option true because we want to stop our brute force attack when we find a perfect match and then the user password file i have already explained what this user password file is so let's just set our r host first which is the target to set it we'll use set r host and 192.168.10.6 and now we'll set our stop on success to be true and then we have to set next thing is we need to provide a user pass file okay so what we'll do is we'll do user user pass file and i have already told in the last video also that i have prepared a file you can see this is my file meta where we have these 12 passwords and usernames so you can see that the eighth one on this list is the correct password to this machine so we'll see how this exploitation works again this is a demo only so this is 
for uh, you guys to understand that how attack works how we exploit a machine so my file is in home then lucifer then desktop and then the file name is meta okay so one more thing i want uh, you to understand is this verbose option this allows you to switch between whether you want to print the outputs for all the attempts or not so this is true because it uh, like if the file is very large and uh, you don't want to you know see all those one by one uh, attempting to crack this machine so you can just set it to false but in this case we don't have a large file so it will be easy for us to you know see the output on terminal so let's just uh, stay with the true and now that we have already uh, set all the options let's just confirm that we don't have any options to set right now which are required we have already set the r host uh, this we are going with false brute force speed is already uh, set port number is 22 right threads do not uh, I, I think uh, the threads is uh, let's just leave it at one uh, we'll cover this in some other video and the user password file from which we will be performing the uh, brute force so now we just need to run this attack again you can run this attack by two commands there is run we used it in previous video and there is then exploit if i hit exploit and enter then also it will start the attack okay so now you can see that attack is being initiated so it is what it is doing is it is just brute forcing it trying all the combinations we gave line by line so first is hello as a user then hello password it is incorrect then rock bottom then pass admin then admin admin i told you that the eighth one was the correct so now you can see that the auxiliary mode execution is completed and uh, command shell session one open if we want to interact with the session that is so session interact sorry sessions it will be sessions i with rural hyphen i for interacting with session and the id of the session or number you can say so we see that we have the session one number one open so we will provide number one and hit enter so now you can see starting interaction with one it kind of looks good it does give you the exact uh, interface where you have this on this machine also but in the ssh we didn't have this kind of uh, thing we just had a blank uh, you know a terminal where we are running uh, we are running our commands and you know executing so i think it is pretty much obvious that we are hacked we hacked this machine or you can say we exploit the telnet port but just to be make sure we'll just list so guys this is all for this video and we'll meet you in the next one so till then keep learning and bye bye.